Government has announced a curfew and lockdown transition period of until tomorrow 8 p.m. for travelers to move in and out of five zone counties of Nairobi, Kiambu, Machakos, Nakuru and Kajiado. However, movement of persons will not be restricted between Nairobi, Kiambu, Machakos, Nakuru and Kajiado, but movement will be restricted from the surrounding areas into these zone counties after the transition window is over. Daniel Masidza reports. Clarifying the COVID-19 measures enumerated in the public order number no. 2 of 2021 issued by President Huru Kenyatta yesterday, the government spokesman Cyrus Oguna also announced a transition period of until Monday next week at midday for those traveling by air and the standard gauge railway. And therefore, if there is somebody who is in Eldoret and wishes to move to Nairobi, he should be here by tomorrow curfew time. If anybody is in Nairobi and wishes to move to Mombasa, he should also be able to move and t uh, between now and tomorrow uh, curfew time. I think that is very clear. Uh, that applies to any movement of anyone who uh, was caught unawares and has to travel back or travel out of the containment, or sorry, or on the uh, a zoned area. On the other hand, those who want to travel to Nairobi for specialized treatment must produce a referral letter and obtain clearance from the nearest police commander, whilst transportation of caskets must be cleared by a nearby area police commander. I know they will be concerned, certainly, about some of our people who come to largely Nairobi for specialized treatment. Now, such cases will be handled case by case. Oguna also explained that the new regulations will not apply to companies with employees working in shifts in order to keep the economy running. We are also aware that there are companies that uh, have got employees that work in shifts, two shifts, to those who work during the day and there are those who come in the evening. You know, there are companies of that kind, there are also construction you know, uh, activities that also have got employees that are on double shifts. Now, for them, these new regulations do not apply to them. While the domestic flights will be suspended indefinitely from Monday next week, international flights will continue operating as usual. However, those traveling into the country must abide by COVID-19 regulations by first producing a COVID-19 negative certificate obtained 96 hours before travel. The government also clarified that tourists who had already booked tickets to travel into the country are free to do so but will have to hire private planes upon clearance by the Kenya Civil Aviation to connect to their destinations. Provision that you can be able to travel into the country, hire plane upon clearance by the Kenya Civil Avi Aviation. Oguna also reiterated that sporting activities will remain suspended until further notice. Daniel Masiza, TV47.